Yo, what is good everybody? It is a beautiful day here in somewhat sunny San Diego. What bag is that? Some light. Some, some light. light. Go ahead and talk about you it real it, quick. Let's have to vlog out right. I made this bag. A couple of my friends, our brand is Revase. Pop tag right there. Um, yeah, you Ooh. feel that. 12 ounce Japanese denim and then this twill imported from Italy on the and inside. And it's reversible, right? And it's reversible. I got um, the T too. With the T with the back. <laughs> Gonna be doing some light shopping today. I don't have anything that I'm looking for, but more so I'm letting pieces tell me they're for me, if that makes sense. Oh my gosh, feel this thing, dude. Surprisingly, extremely thick. Oh, wow. Is that crazy? Is there something in the front? Oh, what? Only 15. It looks kind of large. Oh, I thought it was like iridescent. I thought it was, like, but I think it's faded. Oh, yeah, it's just faded actually. So sick. Just the age wear. And uh, that's just the color overall. Trying to pick up a bunch of you know, just good tees for the summertime. Boot like Kobe, very fire. It looks pretty good. Oh, it actually fits well. Yeah. Yeah. First purchase of the day. That was pretty quick. We've been here for like what five minutes. I'm gonna just wear this today. It goes with the sneaks. I think the hoodie's a little bit too thick, so. It does look like it'd be a little bit cropped on. Excuse me? How much are you asking on this one? 60. I think at that I mean, 50 is a good price. I just at that point, how much do you need it? Yeah, especially it's like spring. It's yeah. hard. Beautiful. Very vulgar song. Got a couple of orange tags. Good day. Uh, thank you very much. Single fit? I like the crop. Yeah, I like how like, short they are. Oh. Yep, is it? It might fit, dude. Dude, those would be sick. You probably have to tailor them a bit, but. <laughs> Yo. Rope. Right where you need it. Ventilation right where you need it. Exactly. Perfect. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Thank you. This could, this could is it inside out? Or is that supposed to be like that? It's supposed to be like that. That's pretty cool. It looks cool. like it fits cool though. It's like rock. I just don't know about the fabric. I'm just trying it out. I don't know if I like it, man. Like, okay. Look in the mirror. It like it, it's, it seems like it would be good, but on it looks kind of weird. It's not yeah. bad, but like... It, I, I think a lot of it has to do with the fabric yeah. and the little lint pulse. Oh, they're long though. Yeah, waist what what's the fit on the like what is it five hundred one or five fifty five five so it's just paper. But on me because it's like a thirty three, it'll fit closer to like a five hundred five. I was gonna say it looks uh it looks like it would fit really nice. Yeah, I'd probably take him in by a few inches. Taking this boy up right here because he says he watches the channel, so you gotta support, and it's uh, closing time, so. We'll take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What? Oh, shout out your page? It's a VTG Supply SD. Pop tag right here. There it is. Boom. He already knows. <laughs> All right, guys. So that's going to do it for the vintage sneaker portion of today's video. I feel like I got a, 
a good amount of stuff. Is that seagull exactly <laughs> on our <laughs> car? What? What are you doing on my car? <laughs> what's what's <laughs> the voice though? That's like of all cars to land on, huh? See ya. Anyways, uh, a good amount of stuff purchased today, like five or four or something like that. Yeah, we're gonna get some food. All right, so we find ourselves here in a location undisclosed. Bon mi hoy on. So good, dude. Are, is it good with the sauce? Yeah, I just doubled it. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're good. For, I don't, I don't oh. care. Oh. I don't know if you guys have any Filipino friends. Like Ethan, Ethan has a Filipino friend right here. We have our version of this. The ours are like this big, like they're much smaller. We call it lumpia. Very similar. I think the meat, I'm pretty sure the meat's exactly the same. Is it? So yeah, we might've just kind of emulated what you guys do, just on a biting, dude. smaller Ultra scale. Ultra vultures, bro. Yeah, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't, don't Cancel this guy gonna, right here, bro. The Filipino's gonna come at me. <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> yeah, I'd be hard pressed to, to find an egg roll better than this right here. The hoisin sauce is definitely... That's a high, bro. Yeah, it's, it, it's a good touch. I'll tell you, that's the Ethan special. Mm. I'll tell you what though, you guys have never had Vietnamese iced coffee. It's like coffee taken to the next level. Like it's so strong and it gets you so wired. I like, honestly like- it's cracked out here. Yeah, no, honestly, this could be like a pre-workout. And it tastes so good, dude. This is a good size sandwich. For the price. What kind of bread is this? Is this like a, a hoagie? It's a baguette. <laughs> oh, it kind of looks like a hoagie bun. But uh, Hoagie bun me. Yes. Wow. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, what is good guys? So we're back here at the house and I did want to go ahead and show you everything that I did purchase in today's vintage shopping vlog, starting out with the t-shirts. As you guys know, it is starting to definitely warm up, especially here in Southern California. And for that reason, I'm definitely in the market for a vintage t-shirts, namely of the faded variety. As you can see on the t-shirt, it has just an incredible fade, but even more than that, it's got the thinning of the fibrous element, uh, something that as of right now is like insanely hard uh, to replicate or manufacture. Uh, this is just an element of vintage tees uh, that will only be on vintage tees. I definitely plan on wearing this one with shorter shorts, uh, mainly due to the fact that it is oversized and I feel like it'll complement uh, the bagginess of this t-shirt a little bit better. Finding this t-shirt couldn't have been in better timing because now I've got my 4th of July outfit all set and ready to go. All right, and so this next t-shirt is a bit more modern. I just realized that all the vintage tees that I picked up today uh, are Harley Davidson. Uh, that is not for a specific reason. They're just t-shirts that I found in the wild that I did like a lot. As you can see, it does have a pretty nice fade to it. Uh, the back hit here is nice and washed out. Very, very fire. And of course you got the iron horse font, which I do believe is a nice touch. This tee here is also a large, but in this scenario, as you can see on B-roll, it is much slimmer, much smaller to the body. And that is for two reasons. Number one being, this isn't licensed Harley Davidson merch. This was before that era. Um, this shirt's 30 years old. It's from 1989. Very, very fire. And just look at the age and the fade on this tee. It is single stitch. Uh, the quality of the print is just not even close to as good as the newer t-shirts, but I love it all the while. Now you might be thinking to yourself, Paul, why are you getting larges and extra larges? You've been so used to doing only XLs or even two XLs, and now you're getting a huge discrepancy with regard to t-shirt measurements. It's almost as if um, I wasn't really looking or something like that, but that's actually contrary to the truth. Um, as of late, I've been really, really trying to uh, grow out my vintage tee lineup in regard to how the t-shirts fit. I have a zillion oversized t-shirts and I just find that shirts that fit more true to the body, at least for me right now, um, I'm enjoying them a lot more. I'm wearing them a lot more. And for that reason, um, I'm trying to add more shirts that fit more true uh, to complement baggier bottoms. Like, man, this was a total steal in my opinion. I think it was like, 10 or $15, maybe it was 20, uh, nothing special about them. They're just some regular schmegular suit trousers and they just so happen to fit my neck perfectly. And because I kind of know uh, that I am a shorter inseam, I could just kind of eyeball this one and say, this could potentially be a good pair of pants. 
unfortunately, I was right. And truthfully, it's not only limited to menswear, you can definitely street wearify uh, this aesthetic. As you guys have seen, um, Ame Leon Door is definitely doing a fantastic job of bringing uh, a bit more street wear and urban culture into uh, this aesthetic and it just looks absolutely gorgeous. I know I just really love what Teddy Santis has been doing that whole aesthetic and uh, I'm really trying to lean into it right now. But yes, I got a pair of trousers to dress up or dress down. You guys might have seen on Instagram, I did post a picture. I called it like the Tito Paul look and uh, you guys kind of got a nice little laugh out of that. But it's cool, you know, it's cool to kind of just switch things up. And uh, the last two purchases are unnecessary because of the weather, the climate, just how hot it's been overall. At the very same time, they were very necessary because I liked them a lot and you just can't say no sometimes. I feel like a good analogy for that would be like, you're an NBA GM, you need a center, but you clearly know that the shooting guard in the draft is just, he's gonna be the superstar. Are you gonna go for what you need being the center? Or are you gonna go for the best talent in the draft? I don't know, it's NBA playoff season and that's, that's kind of where I went. But anyways, um, I ended up purchasing this military wool, somewhat cropped over shirt, very fire. Um, I do find it to be very heavy. And so I'll probably hold this one until fall to really wear it a lot or on those cooler summer nights, say like we're at a bonfire. Uh, this thing just has excellent insulation, but I love the color. It's that like military olive kind of foresty green. And uh, I'm just a really big fan of how it fits and I just had to pick it up. I think I paid 30 bucks for it. Probably my favorite pickup of the day. Again, very unnecessary, but we're going for the best talent in this year's draft. I found this work jacket and it is absolutely incredible how it fits. And I do believe this one is from the 60s. The quality of it is truly on another level. This thing is awesome. I had to buy it. Anyways, those were my pickups from today's vintage shopping vlog. I hope that you did enjoy today's video. If you did, please be sure to let me know by hitting the thumbs up button, subscribing to my channel, and of course, engaging with me in the comment section down below. And as I do in all the videos, I'm gonna be commenting back to everybody uh, within the first like hour or so of the video dropping. And uh, yeah, it's just a cool way for us to kind of uh, chat and all that good stuff. But uh, with that being said, thank you all so much for stopping by the video. Once again, it's truly so humbling uh, to get to make content for you amazing individuals. With that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace and be blessed.